Hey guys, thank you for tuning into my video. So today's going to be a quick one. It's more or less of a how to, or pretty much how I sort out my tackle bag, considering that, you know, I'm planning on going fishing this weekend. So it's pretty much going to be um, this side. These two side pockets will be for hooks. Mostly this, I'm going to see if I can fit all the hooks on this side. I got some weights that is going to go in a secondary bag, and you'll see that later on in the video. This side is going to be like miscellaneous stuff. I'm trying to go lighter in terms of terminal tackle organized. Um, you know, I just want to be more efficient on the water because I'm going to be putting in longer days. So... Once I explain where everything will be going, I'm going to pretty much record everything in a possible time lapse. I'm going to try and see if I can put all my hooks in this pocket right here. This one is going to be possibly for maybe any miscellaneous or, or weights or jig heads, most likely on this side. Over here, I, I put all my scents in here in the front pocket. Just because it's outside and away from anything, just in case of any leaks. Um, inside here, obviously my baits. I got a secondary storage here for anything. If I need to put anything in there, which I never even use that. I got all this storage here. I got my little um, tape measure right here. It's was a yeah three feet, so I'll have it on here. I also have my scale. Well, this is my hook sharpener, just in case. So everything's going to be all organized. And here, here's my scale i have it here it's a padded compartment it's a rapala scale it's pretty basic 25 pounds i mean i use this for bass yeah don't catch any you know 25 pound bass right so you know, it's a pretty good scale i've had it for what six years may upgrade soon one of those crazy Rapala digital scales. <laughs> then I'm gonna flip my bag. And on this side, you know, this side is, I got drink holders on both sides. I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with the Tackle Warehouse bags. It's my wacky tool, I like to keep it here because I do wacky rig a lot, so at least I have it. Got over here. It's a rear compartment. I keep most of the leader material that I use. Fluorocarbons, you know, 10 pound, 14. I even have cigar in there. So yeah. So I got everything that I need to put in already laid out. Um, I made piles. I'm not gonna turn. You'll see once I put it in. I made piles of like things, hooks that I'm gonna be using for Texas rigging. It's going to go into, into this pocket. I'm going to have finesse hooks, which I'm going to put in the inside pocket. And I also have these hooks right here that I have in this little green box. Pretty much my spin shots and my drop shot hooks, wacky hooks, all of that. And the really good hooks, I should say. So these are going to go possibly with the jig heads on this side all right well here we go i'm gonna put start putting all this stuff in in a time lapse video and we're gonna see see how it goes
So, I got this for my weights. Put my weights on one side, and then I got, I'm gonna put some other plastics inside. So, just like this, Let's see how this one goes. Just like that. Should have removed those tags. This one's in. I got this one in here. That's where my Texas rig weights are gonna go. And these are my drop shot weights, which I use a lot. So I'm just gonna tuck them in the bottom right here. So you know, up there, right in the bottom, right here. So I got this for my weights. Put my weights on one side and then I got I'm gonna put some other plastics inside. So just like this. Let's see how this one goes. Just like that. Should have removed those tags. This one's in. I got this one in here. That's where my Texas rig weights are gonna go. And these are my drop shot weights, which I use a lot. So I'm just gonna tuck them in the bottom right here. So you know, up there, right in the bottom, right here. So by having this bag, it pretty much gives me more freedom to carry plastics. I'm gonna get another one. Um, I use a lot of plastics. I fish a lot of heavily pressured water. Um, that being said, if I have another one, I could throw some more plastics in this and on the other one, I could be evenly weighted and also I could carry more plastics inside my backpack and utilize the size. Or I can also carry a mix of hard baits like, you know, my crankbait trays, spy baits, um, you know, my jerk baits with some soft plastics as well instead of being all cluttered up so this is pretty much how i'm gonna do it you know like i said 14.99 for this little bag you can't go wrong at all see it like this there you go see and i'm set i don't have to worry about this hitting me or anything so now that I know that you know, I could carry a lot of stuff in here and be light and efficient, I could, I'm going to most definitely utilize my drink apartments like I always do. It's my needle nose pliers. And also too, it's good to have like a tool area over here. You know, so you got your wire cutters all right so you just throw them in like this just like that close that up it's velcro you really get what you pay for with these bags and then i have these split ring pliers <clears throat> that you can put over here so if need be if you're like me and you get hooked while you're taking out a bass from a crankbait then you need to cut a hook you got your cutters in there you have your pliers and also too once you're all done with that then you can use your split ring pliers to just redo another hook on that bait so you can attach another hook pretty much you do it all really quick that's why i'm all about being efficiently this season if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Um, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, if you're already subscribed to me or you're a new subscriber, don't forget to hit the bell notification. That way you can get updates for whenever I upload. I'm trying to get into a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday 6 p.m. routine. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.